What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create and display a WordPress blog post checklist for a WordPress editor, writer or author, okay? So let's imagine that you did edit someone new to your team and he or she is looking to write a new post on your website. However, you do not want that this post broke some rules that you have for your SEO strategy, okay? Something like the minimum amount of words, the some broken link, an amount of links, okay? Some image. You do your rules. However, you want that this checklist appears and blocks this person to publish any content until it fits to those checklist tasks, tasks, okay? And for this tutorial, we're gonna be using a free WordPress plugin, okay? But before I can share you all of the information, please hit the subscribe button because we bring daily videos for WordPress usage, marketing, SEO, sales, reviews, unboxings, and much more content. You're gonna enjoy this channel, this video, do a lot of work to do okay we spend a lot of time to do and to search for these tips okay so please subscribe the channel after this let's go to the point for this tutorial we're gonna be using a free wordpress plugin called publish press checklists it's a free plugin you can install on any wordpress website for free without any problem of course there is a pro version but we're gonna keep all for free just remember, there is no free launch, okay? So there is a pro version, they want to sell you the pro version, but the free already does an amazing work. So let's do the first step that is install the plugin. Go to our WordPress dashboard. Once on it, we're gonna move to plugins, okay? And click on add new. After this, into the search field, we're gonna type publish press checklist. The publish press, the publish press, it's an amazing company, okay? They have lots of plugins that gonna help the blogger life, okay? The blogging life as well. But in today's video, we're gonna focus into the publish press. Click on install now button, and after this, click on activate. As you can see, the plugin installation was really fast, but the time that it takes to install a plugin changes according to your server, okay? As soon as you install the plugin, you're gonna be redirected to the plugins list of your WordPress website, and you can see the published press plugin already right here, okay? You can click right here to go to the developer site, or click on view details. As soon as you do this, as you activate the plugin. You're gonna see a new button present on your WordPress dashboard, okay? So in my case, next to the projects, I have these projects and themes because I'm using a visual model WordPress theme, but in the case that you do not use one, just review for this checklist next to your page and comments buttons, okay? So, checklist. First of all, we're gonna move to the settings, okay? So, add those post types, add to those post types. What is this? Let's imagine that everything that you have on your site, page, products, landing page, orders, coupons, there are all post types. In the case that you are looking for a great way to create new post types for your content, just install Borderless WordPress plugin, that is our Visual Moodle free WordPress plugin. But back into this point, by default, the word, this plugin gonna work in, on the posts, okay? So onto the blog posts. In the case that you want that this plugin works on pages, you can just select pages. Same for WooCommerce products, for example. This is up to your choice. I'm gonna keep this only activated for the posts. 
show warning icon this is really important please make this display this is gonna bug the mind of the writer and help the writer to see what is missing disable the status option when using the quick edit this is useful as well you can change this and click on save change and after this we're gonna go to the checklist as well and here is where the fun begins because here is where you're gonna plan what can be done and what can't be done okay number of the characters in the title we can disable recommend and require what is the difference between the recommended and the required the recommended it's something that we do recommend but we do not most for example when you are typing a contact form they most have an email but they recommend a subject for example in my case i'm gonna recommend to let's see now who can ignore this text leave it blank if you want that these tasks be applied to anyone whoever you can do some exceptions for example let's imagine that you are the site administrator and you are doing some tests you do not want that this bug your mind so we can exclude the admins user rules from those texts okay but any other kind of user that we did not apply right here for example editor author collaborator subscriber those will see those rules while writing okay so the minimum amount of characters let's type something like 20 and the maximum let's type something like 50. now the second is number of words in the content this is really important this is required because while talking about SEO, and in the case that you want to learn everything about SEO, go to Visual Modo on YouTube channel and search for our SEO playlist. We do teach about SEO there, as well as the blog on Visual Modo that we have tons of posts about SEO, okay? But talking about SEO, only in short, all the posts for a good SEO most have at least 500 words okay so we're gonna exclude the admin from those rules because the admin may try to change may, may try to test some page so the minimum gonna be 500 and the maximum may be 2000 words this is already good to go, but let's do more tasks, okay? Number of categories. We recommend, or oh, we require at least one and a maximum of two, okay? So the writer, the editor, or the author most assign this post to one category at least this is really important so the post will already have a good title a good amount of words and at least one category you can imagine how good this is for your blog as well number of tags let's recommend okay i'm gonna exclude the admin as well and recommend a minimum of two tags and a maximum of five number of charts in accept this is disabled i do not want this number of internal links in content this is important we can require exclude the admin and type one and a maximum of five four number of external links i did not said before but what's the difference between internal links and external links internal links it's when you interlink your site for example into a post of your blog you link another post of your blog okay 
an external link, it's into a post of your blog, you mention some brand, and you go to the site brand and did apply the external link. Again, required, this is important for SEO as well. And the minimum of one and the maximum of three, three, for example. All links use a valid format, it can be enabled. Alt text for all images, this is really important, both for SEO and accessibility, okay? So apply this and make required. We already have a good amount of options, I just going to require a featured image. Save chains. So we already have a good amount of rules, okay? So our posts are gonna be great at otherwise they will not be published. Let's go to a post. I'm a site admin, so I will not be able to review those settings. Let me show you. You don't have to complete the checklist text. Why this? Because I'm the site administrator. But let's show what happens if I did not include the admin into those rules. Let's go back to the checklists. I'm gonna remove the admin from all of those options right here. Save change. Now the rules apply for everyone, as it should, by the way. Let's go to the blog post. This is the default WordPress blog post, so the hello world. And here are the problems we have. The title, it's too short, we have not enough amount of words. Let's just copy and paste this until we can fit the good amount of words. Did you see the Nazi that does not let us to update the post? Let's go back right here and review. We still have not enough words. Now, as you can see, we already have enough words, so it's green. The title it's still too short, but let's fix the problem on image. We must have a featured image into the post. The image must have an alt text. Featured image problem, fix it. We must have one tag, we must have an internal link, an external link. Let's go to the visual model website, copy this content and apply a link right here. We already have an external link. Let's got uh, an internal link. Can you see the amount of work we have now? So nobody gonna be able to publish any content on your site without following the rules that you made. This is really, really good in the case that you have a big team or you alloy guest writing on your site, for example. So you most have, this is a most have plugin for if this is your situation, okay? So we still have two things to fix, but I think you already got the point, and, I, and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that I have any question, 
And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And in the case that you are doing your first website or want to update your site without spending money, we have a free WordPress theme on WordPress.org that is called Enzu. And a free WordPress plugin on WordPress.org that is called Boardless. Those are amazing tools that you can download and install on your site for free to empower and enlarge the world of options that you have, okay? I'm gonna leave into the first comment of this video some useful links as well. For example, for a place when you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents. Or a place when you can download design assets like icons, Photoshop templates, plugins, themes for free and they update the downloadable items every single week. So review those links, they will be helpful for you, okay? Also, we are on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at, at VisualMoto, okay? And it is, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I see you later. All the best.